What's up guys, this is Tai Zen again with uh, Leon Fu. We're from uh, prisonorfreedom.com where we talk about the techniques, the tools, the strategies, and the technology that's available to help people find freedom in their health, their wealth, and relationships. And in this particular episode, we're gonna talk about the wealth aspect, okay? And in this particular episode, um, you wanted to talk about how everything is being converted to software nowadays. Yes. Um, by the way, in case you guys didn't know, uh, Leon Fu here is one of the top iOS developers in the world. And um, he's gonna hear, be here talking to us about how he, everything has been changed to software, many things in our lives. Now it's to a point where money is being converted to software. So could you talk about that? Well, yeah, this has just been, this has been going on for the last 30, 40, 50 years, right? Everything has been, uh, you know, software's at the core of everything we've done. I now, mean, just, are you saying that just because you're a programmer? No, no, I'm saying that. Biased towards software? Well, I, I probably am biased to it, but okay. I mean, it's happening, right? Yeah. I mean, I could be biased, but that doesn't make it any less true, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, we, we, we have, uh, we can, we have examples, right? Like the typewriter is now software. Yeah, it's right. Mm -hmm. uh, we we don't nobody uses a typewriter anymore. Why not? No, right. It's a piece of software now. Yeah, right? it's the word processing. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, e letters are now software. It's email. Yeah. Right. Uh, the, the mail has become software. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, Pictures have be has become software. Yeah, it's all right. zeros and ones. It's JPEG all files, uh, it's all digital, files. right? It's all data right now, yeah. right? It used to be film. Yeah. Right. It, we we've turned. So there's a lot of. But basically, what you're saying is that there's a lot of things that's physical that's been converted to software. Music. Is yeah. MP3s. Right. Okay. But now uh, we're at books. The point. Books are now software. Kindle. Kindle. Right. Yeah. Uh, everything is a uh, uh, art. Right. Yeah, paintings. Is, you could you could draw on a tablet. And, yeah, uh, I mean, I grew up yeah. oil painting and oil all painting. kinds of stuff, but I prefer to do Photoshop now. Yeah, so yeah, so, so, so now, was, but but you talk about now, money is now becoming software. Yes, so that can be confusing to a lot of people that are not technically uh, savvy like you are. So could you try to break it down in non-technical terms of well, how money is being converted to software now? Money is an idea. Yeah, right. Money is. It has value because we as a society have assigned it value, right? Yeah. We, we've taken things that we that are valuable to us yes. and exchange it for money, yes. which really has no intrinsic value for us, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean if you from all our experience, yeah. any, anything can be money. I mean, yeah. this remote control can be money as long as somebody who has something that you want will accept it as payment. Yes, it's then money. It's money, right? Yeah. Now, now, not everything is equally good as money. Yes. Right, like the U.S. dollar. If you're in America, it's better money than most things. Yeah. Right. I mean, uh, if you, but. You can pay in many different ways, right? Yeah. You, you could you could you could pay in gold coins if you want to, right? In, in prison, uh, gold coins don't have that much value. Yeah. Cigarettes and coffee have more value. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's being used as money. Is, yeah. So anything can be used as money. So because money is is a means of exchange, and it's a unit of account. It's yeah. a store of value, right? So why can't all the, all of this is just data? All of this is just can be stored in a computer because it's information. Yeah. Right? And one of the things Bitcoin has done is turned it into software, but it's, in fact, the US dollar is software, right? Yeah, it's all digital. It's Nobody all digital actually, now, right? I mean, yeah, they're, they're printing what, 85 billion? Yeah, they're not, that's not being printed. It's just yeah. numbers, entries into yeah. a computer, right? It's yeah. not even, it's, it's. How it's, do you get one of those computers where you can just add oh, 85 yeah, billion dollars? The Ben Bernanke, right? <laughs> <laughs> the Ben Bernanke? Yeah, the Ben Bernanke, <laughs> right? Yeah. But uh, I think, sorry, next week or next month, I think we get to talk to uh, Mr. Yellen. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We have, we have uh, Ms. <laughs> at least a lot of people referring to her as Mr. Yellow. <laughs> Mr. Yellow. Yes. Yes. You know, but so. uh, you know, Bitcoin has what what makes Bitcoin special isn't that it's digital money. I mean, we've had digital money. We we use digital money. Most of our money is digital, right? I mean, I mean, uh, it's rare that I ever use cash. Yeah, and, and most of the U.S. dollars in existence uh, do not exist as physical bills and coins, right? And most of it is. Checking accounts and it's all digital anyway, right? Yeah. Uh, but you know what Bitcoin, what makes it special is that 
it's decentralized. Yeah. Right? They're, they're, it's a public ledger that uh, can track who owns what yeah. and reach agreement among yeah. people that, or computers that don't know each other or don't even trust each other. Yeah. Right? Uh, but, and uh, it can keep track of that. that that's that's the, its main innovation. And, and that's what you mean when you say that money is becoming software now. Yes, it already is software. Yeah. It, so yeah. whenever you talk about like the different altcoins, uh -huh. the cop what I call copycat coins, yeah. when you talk about the different copycat coins, basically their success or failure depends upon the quality of their software. I think that's one factor, but ultimately it depends. Is this like? Is this like a? It's, uh, not, it's, a, a, it's okay. okay. Ultimately, it's it's uh, depends on do people accept it? Do people use it? Right? Yes. Okay, and one factor of that is the quality of the software. Yeah. I don't. I'm not saying that's the only factor, but it's definitely one factor that makes it user. That makes people want to use it. That's right. That's right. Okay. Right. I, I mean, the more people that use a yeah. currency, doesn't matter what it is, right? Yeah. The more people that use a currency, the more value that it has. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, so let's say, just say, let's take for example the top two uh, uh, um, cryptocurrencies right now, which is Bitcoin and Litecoin. Obviously, Bitcoin has a huge, big lead, five-year lead, you know, four or five-year lead in front of Litecoin. Yes. So basically, what you're saying is that in order for Litecoin to succeed, okay, and just by the way, we're both investors in Litecoin, so. Just that's a disclaimer out there. We're not saying that you should buy it or not. I'm just make it known, okay? Um, so basically, in order for Litecoin to excel, to get to where Bitcoin's level is or surpass it, it has to be adopted. One, it has to be adopted by people, sure, businesses and, and regular people to sure. use it. And then number two, its features have to outweigh Bitcoin. I think so. I think ultimately features so, will will. But I don't think it's just features, right? Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of uh, examples in the market where you know the better product lost because of marketing, yeah, like, right? I mean, like for example, like Word Perfect, Perfect and yeah. uh, Microsoft Word. Yeah, I've used Word Perfect before. I think it's way better than yeah. uh, Word. So but how come nobody uses it? I don't know. Right. <laughs> I guess better marketing. Well, that's a different topic. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it, it's. You, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to, and it's going to be the free market that decides, right? It's going yeah. to be whether or not, <coughs> you know, there's no government behind any of these coins saying you must use it, right? Yeah. Uh, we, if you this is America, actually a real free market. Yeah, this is a real free market. People are going to choose which cryptocurrency they're going to use. Okay. Right, and people have that choice whether they uh, buy it, whether they pay with it, and whether they get, it gets accepted. Right. Yeah. And there's no. Uh, government saying you, if you live in this country, you must accept our, okay. our, our money, right? Okay. Uh, so it is a free market, and we'll see who wins. In the okay. End. Yeah. All right. We'll see. Yeah. All right. I mean, we we're living in some bright times. Yeah. You know, yeah, so it's like exciting times. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching this episode, guys. If you guys enjoy this video uh, or have any questions or add to the conversation, please leave your comments in the the comment section below. If you'd like to support us, what we're doing, uh, please donate to the uh, Bitcoin address um, that we have below. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.